Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In this video, I will show you how to create a gamified quiz um, in your Moodle course. Okay, so you all know that uh, once you create a quiz consisting of multiple choice questions or short answer questions, um, the students are taken through a list of questions. In this case, there are 100 questions on ICT uh, skills. Okay, and this can become really, really boring. Uh, and students tend to select answers uh, based on guessing. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to make it more exciting, the quiz, and how to gamify it. Okay, so let's go back to our course. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is to install a plugin. So let's go to the plugins directory. So we'll type in moodle.org. And I'll provide a link in the description. And this is the plugins page. Okay. So we're looking for Exibus. Press enter on your keyboard and we're looking for the Exibus game. Okay. Click on that. Make sure that you download the correct version. Okay, so it's 3.10, so I'll download that. Okay, it's downloading to my downloads folder on my computer. I'll go back to my course, and once it's downloaded, I'll go to, I'll close this, go to Site Administration, and then go to Plugins, and then Install Plugins. I'll drag this downloaded zipped file into the Dropbox here or the file upload box here and then once it completely uploaded I'll click on install plugin from the zip file okay so there it's been uploaded I'll click on install plugin from zip, zip file I can close this now and close this below I'll click on continue Okay, so there it's installed. If yours is not installed, since I've already installed it, it will take you through the process of installation. Okay. When you're done installing it, go to your course. And my course is ICT Skills. I'll go to my course there. Uh, and I want to add it to the quizzes section here. Okay. So now all I need to do is I need to turn editing on. So if you don't have the editing on, let's turn editing on. And you'll know immediately when you see the pencil icons. Okay, so I'll add the quiz here. So I'll add, uh, add an activity or resource. I'll click on that. And now this window pops up. I'll scroll down to where I see the Exibus um, quiz or the Exibus games activity that I've just installed. Okay, I'll click on that. Okay, so now we need to provide a name for our quiz. Okay, so let's call this testing game. Okay, then you'll see under next to quiz, there is an option to choose from. And it's currently set to the functional skills quiz. Okay, now depending on the quiz you have in your course, it will use that quiz in your course. Now my quiz consists of 100 questions. I don't want that. So we need to go back and just create another quiz and then just um, let's choose five questions. OK, so I'll go. I'll leave this as is and I'll go back to my course. OK, and let's let's create an, a new quiz, a normal Moodle quiz. By choosing the quiz activity. So there's my quiz activity. I'll click on it. And I'll call this my sample quiz. OK, I'll leave timing as is. So I don't have to change anything here. I can choose here uh, only one attempt. I only want uh, to allow the learners one attempt. And the grade to pass, I'll choose 50%. OK, then the question behavior, I'll leave it everything on its default. Uh, reviewing options, save exam browser. And under activity completion, I want the students to show activity as complete when conditions are met. 
and which conditions the students must view the activity and the students must receive a grade for this activity. I'll then click on save and display. So this is how you do a, a set up a normal quiz. Okay, so it says here grade to pass is bigger. So let's make that five. Click on save and display. Okay, so here's my quiz, but there's no questions in it yet. So I'll need to add some questions. So I'll click on add questions. Okay, and then just underneath add, I'll click on the expand button or the carrot here. And then select question from the question bank. Okay, so I have different questions here from the question bank. Uh, as you can see under ICT skills, I have various questions here. And I'll choose the stay safe online. There's 10 questions. Okay. And it's all multiple choice questions. Okay. So now I'll choose all of these questions and I'll click on add selected questions to quiz. And that will add the selected questions to this quiz. Okay. And you'll see here it's one mark each and there's zero marks because this is a topping head, a uh, top header. Or header yeah um, so it doesn't have marks okay so that's fine for me I'll click on save here and maybe I'll click on shuffle as well okay and save okay so let's go back to our course now so here now you'll see the sample quiz and when I go back into my course there will be two quizzes the functional skills quiz and then the sample quiz Okay, so now let's go and create that game-based quiz. Let's click on Add an Activity or Resource. Then choose our Exhibus Games. Okay, so let's give it a name. And we'll call this my game-based quiz. Okay, let's scroll down now. Next to quiz, you'll see there's Functional Skills Quiz. But when I click on the drop down list, I'll see my second quiz that I've just created. So I'll click on sample quiz. And this is only 10 questions. So you will see the 10 questions ending up here once it's loaded. Okay. And we under game type, we will leave it on a uh, brain game. There's also exaclick, but I'll, we will uh, touch on that in another video. Okay. So let, let's leave it on brain game. We'll scroll down. And then under activity completion, we'll choose the student can manually mark this as complete. Okay. Let's click on save and display. Okay. So there's our course loading. Okay. So it starts here with a professor uh, just jumping out of the water and it says here super brain size matters play. Okay. So once the student ends up here, now, you can click on play, but you as a teacher can either go into edit or configure quiz or grades to actually um, edit or configure the um, quiz. So let's click on edit. And this will take us back to our where we set up this quiz. So, uh, and you'll see here the sample quiz, um, brain game, um, and then the type of questions that you, it will ask the student. So it will take you back to that uh, settings. Okay. So let's go back. If you click on configure quiz, yeah, you can either remove some of the questions or add more questions, or you can turn off shuffling or turn off shuffling of the questions. Okay. So let's go back to our quiz and back to our course okay so now when the student ends up within the course he can click on game based quiz and it will take him to that particular quiz now he can click on play and this will provide him with a question as well as possible solutions okay so let's click on a solution and how this game works this is your brain when you provide a correct answer your brain will grow an incorrect answer will shrink your brain okay so here's the professor and the professor will provide some facial expressions based on your answer so select oh, let's select an answer and here you'll see 
the professor is very angry because you provided an incorrect answer okay um, so let's choose another one and here again uh, should you add people you think you know yes and that's also incorrect okay let's provide some correct answers should you share your credit card details no so you'll see there's a correct answer and your brain starts growing okay what details do you share on your on the internet none okay and there again it's correct so your brain starts growing okay another question incorrect uh, what do you do if someone on the internet asks you for explicit pictures? You tell your parents. Correct. Um, okay, so we can go through the questions and you'll see each time incorrect it will shrink and correct it will grow. And now I've used up all my chances and now see what happens. So there the bird and there the professor is jumping in the air and you'll see there's my score 33.33 um, and yeah so and this is much more exciting than the usual Moodle quiz where the learners need to select an answer here within the screen something happens and it's more interactive and it's more engaging and exciting okay once the student is done you can click on grades and this will take him to his grades uh, where his grades will end up here okay so since I'm the administrator my grades won't end up here okay and this is how easy it is to set up a gamified quiz uh, making use of the Exibus uh, quiz plugin okay so let's go back to the course and all you need to remember is to create a quiz a normal quiz with multiple choice questions and then create your Exibus uh, game quiz okay so the exibus game quiz will then extract from your normal quiz uh, the questions the multiple choice questions and um, you can then allow the learners access to this exibus games quiz i really hope this video was helpful please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel